how have I progressed the faction? So look, look, look how much new Jericho. It's just like dominated. Uh, so basically, we've we only have good rep with uh, new Jericho. Feed a group of raiders who have been attacking havens in this area. I could do this to try to get some. Uh, these ones want us to attack new Jericho, which is unfortunate. Uh, if we did this and we got to, I think it's twenty five percent, they'd be ally or friendly with us, supportive with us, and then we could get their. Um, there are people too. You know what? Maybe I'll do that. Where is this mission? Oh, it's in Tasmania. All right. Well, we're kind of far away from Tasmania. You guys are just going to have to wait. Okay. Let's go explore up here. Um, we're going to go ahead and have Manticore 1 fly this way. And then we'll split Manticore 1 and 2 up once they get up here. You can get ambushed, which is a little scary. So my recommendation is as soon as you're done with the mission, come out and make sure everyone's trained up and equipped because you could absolutely get ambushed and uh, if you enter an ambush with you know no ammo or low ammo or people hurting or uh, with unspent points you're just handicapping yourself mind control human and just have them drop their weapon it's a good idea powder toast man miss him new class um i'm not gonna do that yet i'm gonna pump willpower so willpower uh, is gonna allow us to use quick aim more often so I'm going to go up to 18 willpower on Salim. Who else leveled? We got Marky. Um, so eventually, once Marky gets to Boom Blast, we're going to want to pump some willpower. Uh, but for now, I am going to put some speed because I need him to be able to get in range of the weapon that we're using. Do more for the space commies. All right, I think those are the only two that leveled, so let's go ahead and check equipment here. Uh, looks like Marky's good to go. He only fired once, I believe. Yeah, he's We're good there. Tina George. Go ahead and top off her ammo. That's fine. Uh, you can wear armor from other classes, so we could go ahead and give them uh, other armor. Um, it's going to lower their accuracy and stuff like that. I don't really want to do that. Hopefully our sniper rifle's done soon. We just pop that on them before we get another mission. But in the meantime, they're fine. Pace. Um, again, we can throw... Well, no, we can't. We have no other chest armor for him. So I think pace will just leave as is. We might as well put this in the carry slot. No reason not to. And in fact, let's go ahead and just make another one. Because might as well have, uh, have the options. So another important thing to note is if the, you have ammunition in your ready slot, it doesn't cost an action point. Very important to note. So there's no reason to have an empty action slot if you have anything on the body. Very, very important. Okay, McPie, good to go. All right, I think we're ready if we get ambushed. I might just put some more armor on Rakes. He's going to... He's not going to be able to, like, move at all, but... It's alright. Better than him being dead. Hey, dude, by the way, AP, welcome back. Maybe consider doing the Phase 2 mission for Jericho. Yeah. I really need to go do that later. As well. Those are our two. Yeah, that's probably going to be our other priority. Next Jericho mission and go finishing that layer. Uh, okay. All right. Let's let him go. The layer of death, yeah. Socks too, because our first layer we completed, and the second one was no good. Uh, I don't think we set up a scan here, actually. Our community grows. Let's see if we can set one up here. Uh, Botro. Bo Botro. Botro. Our community. Botro, I don't know if I pronounced your name right, but thank you for the follow. And, uh, Recondite Buster. I don't know. I'm not going to pronounce that right either. So, Recon. Hopefully, I'm getting that right. Thank you for the follow. Commander. Oh, I'm going to get this one, though. 
Papa I don't know, is willing to contribute substantially to our cause on the understanding that we will help defend Fort Kala. Kala? Whenever we can, in the hope that we will not make enemies of New Jericho. Uh, yeah, all right. We'll protect you. Our community grows. Dun did once. Dun did. Thank you for the follow as well. Thank you guys uh, for choosing to hang out here and to follow the channel. I do appreciate it. Seems everyone here is quite confident that the Phoenix Project has a real chance of saving the Earth. Commander Papadupa. Papadopoulos. Papadopoulos. Papadopoulos would like to, to be part of that, but she also has to be careful. Her ultimate loyalty is to the people of her haven. New Jericho plus 3, Havens attitude plus 12, food plus 300, tech plus 80. Papa Depolis, I will remember this. For sure. Absolutely. Been ambushed. Survive three turns. Oh, I hope it was our one that has everyone in it and not just our newbies. Hey, remember when I was talking about ambush? Please not our newbies. Please not our newbies. Please not our newbies. Uh, I need to get an eight-man ship. Time to earn XP. <laughs> I don't know, man. It'll be really rough. Pre-recorded. Uh, carrying a handgun could be life-saving. When your arm has been disabled in battle, double-handed weapons require two hands to operate. Thanks. I should put this game on my uh, SSD. It's not as slow loading as XCOM 2, but... I already know where to get one. I could just steal one from Synedrian. But I've been trying not to burn any bridges, but I might do that. I might steal one from Synedrian. That's not wrong. I can literally get one from Synedrian. I've seen it. I've gone to their base and clicked Haven Info, and it's right there, and I have the option to go in and get it. So it might not be the only place to get one. Is it eight, ma'am? The one on the Haven Info showed eight, I thought, last stream. Hey, look. It's our two newbies. But no, it's okay. We'll figure it out. Uh, <laughs> it's really bad. Really bad. Well. Where's the most full cover we can get to? Maybe this building? No panic, calm collected. You land, you're flying vehicles, so everyone can use the bathroom. I guess so. Let's run around the map for three turns. We're surrounded, though. I have to... Like, I've done this map before, and there's usually... Um, it's not always the same, but there's usually an enemy back here, and usually like two back here. I think we just retreat towards this building as we go. We have as much chance at cover as possible. Can we actually get pace inside here this round? Yeah, we can. All right, double full cover. Let's go for it. Uh, is that a grenade one? Uh, the friggin' grenade launcher ones too. Uh, how do they even make sense? I know. They have it down the ship. Hey, do a poor chop welcome in. Uh, the grenades, the grenades, the grenades. That really sucks, man. It really sucks. Um, we'd also try to disable that one or kill it. Um, it does have returned fire. It's a range on the grenade. So we could move here and grenade it, but then they're going to be hurt next rounds. Uh, and if that grenade doesn't destroy its weaponry, I have a bad time. Was forced down. EMP. It's been rebooting. Thank you. So, pace. We absolutely have to move somewhere. So, if I run to this building, that thing's just going to grenade someone. Do we... Only one of these has a heal as well. I think we just do that, though. I think that's what we got to do. Just don't be close enough to win it. Um, <laughs> we got that one on the friggin' roof. Oh, uh, that's not good. All right. All right. 
All right, all right, okay. It's clearly destroyed you. Oh uh, man. What kind are you? You're also machine gun, spitterhead, and grenade. Full offensive. Full offensive. Uh, Welp. Feel better, Raiders here? A little bit. Still not 100%. Welp. Good luck, Pace. Good luck. All right. I don't even know where to run you, honestly. Um. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I'll put them where I originally was going to. And if they get destroyed, then I guess they just get destroyed. Let's uh, tighten this up in case, like, where is the this one most likely to drop down at? Drop down here, or even shoot from up there. All right, we'll uh, we'll put a wide pistol Overwatch right here and hope for the best. I don't know. Uh, Two hundred percent raider in tactical games. I don't know, man. Two newbies against the world. All right, here goes round one. I don't know where you're going. Stay there, though. Hey, drop down that hole. We got that Overwatch. It didn't disable anything. Oh, okay. That's going to be a lot of damage. The med kit does... No! <laughs> well, they're dead. Uh, GG. Goodbye, newbies. So they're poisoned for 80. If we get this mind fragger off of their face, we won't be able to heal them. If we don't get the mind fragger off their face, they're going to be mind controlled. Uh, for the corpse, I don't know. So basically, do we try somehow to save pace? Or do we try to go for the win? Our nest and layers the same thing. They're not. Layers are much bigger and a different uh, mission objective and much harder than nests. I do Jaliet. Uh, this is a multi-shot weapon too, so we're gonna we're gonna hit their head if we do this. We might end up, pace might end up just killing them if we do this. They might just be gone. There might be no saving them. Leave no man behind. Well, it might be we might leave all men behind. So, the way this is going. Uh, I think we just try to save pace. I don't think there's any way we can do this. Because of the poison. They're not going to get their action this round. So, I think they're done. Hi, to Mackie. Welcome back. Welcome back, yes, Mackie. Well, I can bash it off and then shoot it. I know, but then, then what? Like... Then we're going to have both of these able to take up to four shots. I don't... I still don't think we actually save them. I mean, we could go, we could try it, but we might lose both of them if we do that. Uh, how strong do you need to be to reasonably attempt a nest fight? I will tell you that nest fights continuously get reinforcements, and you and on this difficulty at the least, they get strong reinforcements. So I would say if you want to, you need a lot of mobility. Mobility is king on those fights. I do an AKB, by the way. Go for win, then revenge. Newbies guess I'll die. All right, let's go for it, I guess. There's no friggin' way we do this, though. And then that one's just gonna grenade. <laughs> because we're grouped up. Auto house. After this, let's group all the newbies at a base to head out. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. All right. And it, it's still, we didn't even remove it and we get return fire from bashing that one. And they're dead. Yeah, all right. That was definitely not the right thing to do. I shouldn't have. 
now you know that if you bash something, you also get return fire from some other stuff. All right, uh, the newbies that we just got are dead, so. I guess we'll have to go recruit some more. Doesn't matter who I bash, though. The return fire still kills, regardless. And also, I'm pretty sure it bashed the right one because the mind fragger went down to half health, right? Or was I miss? I missed that. Um, all right. So Manticore two needs to go recruit. What we have here? An assault. We'll, we can grab them. Edinburgh, welcome in. One of them was named Hopeless. I know, that's what I was thinking when I, we got him. It's like, ah, that's a good name. Another assault. Is there a sniper nearby? I might just grab those two assaults for now. Um, yeah, I think I'll just grab them. We'll just grab them. Venomous. Thank you for the follow, Venomous. Appreciate it. Welcome in. All right, so we're gonna recruit that assault. And then we're gonna move here. Watch that one get grabbed now. Oh my God, come on. If this is the one, which is the one newbie, I mean, they're done. Well, they're just targeting our newbies. Four newbies until you get eight band ship. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, man, oh man. Yeah, I could put four people on each ship, divide them up. Uh, it's the Rambo newbie. <laughs> we gotta hope so if he's the one. Ambushed extreme threat level. I guess I almost hope it's the newbie, right? Because then we just, like, throw them uh, <laughs> to the to the fire. They die. We just lose some food. No, it's not. All right. All right. We got to be careful with this one. For real. This is a for real mission. Give the newbies a tank. I know. That's what I, I know. That might not be a bad idea either. Uh, so there's already three surrounding us. Full offense again. Grenade, spitter, and... And rifle. Do, do, do we need the rookie? And right, pick up newbies and trade ship. Cover them for ambushes. Just have the bats, have a scarab, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so this is our most... This area has the most cover, so I guess we'll be going this way. To begin with, we need to kill this first. Okay, and we need to make sure we are out of uh, return fire range for it. Uh, a team revenging the newbies. Yeah, we'll see. We can actually get this home faster. Um, a little bit faster, a little bit more cover on the way. There is some explosive barrels, but less area enemies can come in from this side too. We might go to this building first. Okay, uh, so rakes. Yeah, we have to make sure we don't group everyone up because of all the grenade. We know that there's already... Th we can already see three enemies of grenades. Do we just scout with rakes? I think so. That one's going to get a really good shot on rakes. They might kill him if he goes there. Mindfragger lurking again, I know. Let's see... I might use um, McPie's dash to scout first. That way we're not, uh, you know, spinning action points to see what's over there. Oh, thank you, R I mean, I don't know why R squared, but uh, my pleasure probably. I'll read the message later. All right, let's scout. 
Now I'm really curious. But I'll figure it out later. Okay, minus four willpower. We have alerted this one. Are we in... We're not in range for it to shoot back at us yet. We're also not in a, a good spot for... Uh, for attacking it. Um... It's obviously going to have return fire. That's what I'm worried about. Uh, bison burgers in the pot. Bash potatoes and steamed carrots. Steamed Brussels sprouts. Never had bison burger. I would try it though. Oh boy, oh boy. All right. All right, all right. Team George also has a dash. You can use it twice this round. Salim has a snipe. Um on those two targets. We could probably kill one of those, no problem. It's this one that I'm really concerned about, though. Let's see, Ivax does not have a shot on there, but does have a shot on either one of these, and then we could snipe it to kill it. Mark, do you have a shot on this one? That's not a good shot, and then you're left with no cover. So I don't know that I like that very much. But we could probably destroy that table and open up a shot for McPie. You know? Might have to do it. So if we take control of this... Do we have the means of breaking that table? It's steel. Is it destroyable? We don't know. <laughs> like, I haven't tried to destroy one of those tables. Most things are destructible. But we have ran into a couple things that aren't. And that could change how this plays out. Um, it does count as cover, so it's probably destroyable. I don't know. Man, I'm going to try it out. We're going to see. Have to figure it out sometime. You better hit this friggin' table. You believe? You believe, Scorpios? All right, Scorpios. This one's for you. Hey, it's destroyable. <laughs> Alright, good. Basically, we'll last anything. Almost. There are some things in the game that aren't destroyable, though. We've ran into a few. Even grenades and, and heavy weaponry doesn't, doesn't destroy. Uh, so, McPie. We could bring them into dash range here for a little bit better shots. Uh, I wish it would preview whether or not they're going to have return fire from that location. Because that would... You know, that would let me know if it's it's worth going there. Fall into the enemy. Depends. Table. He gets it. Uh, yeah. Have you looked at exclamation 96? Have you looked at that? Okay. We can kill one of these with IMAX plus Sniper. Are we going to set anything up? I could set a turret up with a rake somewhere close by. Like here, set it behind him. That way if a mind fragger comes out of this area, we shoot it. And then we... Or from this side, and we use our sniper plus grenade to kill there. I think that's what I'll do. Ooh. Session. Uh, that barrel's awfully close. Maybe I should have looked at that a little bit. Well, let's go ahead and use Boom Blast on Ibex. See if we can take that guy out. So, Boom Blast. Just because of his shirt. Scorpios always calls me that. Alright, good luck, Ibex. Don't hit that tree right above you. Good job. Oh, that's big damage. That's big damage. I might be able to kill two this round. Good job. Holy crap. Holy crap. It's bleeding for 60. How much health you got left? Uh, it's got 70. So close. We just need to, like, graze it. I don't like grouping around this barrel. I'm doing a lot of grouping around that barrel for someone that doesn't like doing it, huh? Strange action between return fire, Triton, and one of your assaults with return fire. They kept triggering each other four times. We phase. I've... I haven't had that happen, but I I mentioned that it would be weird if it did happen, but... Uh, 
Okay, that one's dead now from bleed. Ooh, what a nice place to hide behind that barrel. Might leave Ivax in the open so we can just try to get two kills this round. You'll be fine, Ivax. You'll be fine. Just make sure you hit this. You'll be fine. Launcher arm... Mm, that was nowhere near as much damage. Okay. We still have two shots on McPie. We still have our sniper. Let's go ahead and use quick aim. Let's see if there's any way we can take this one out back here before we move. Alright. Save so his arm. So we can hit it again and kill it. Uh, we disabled its launcher arm. It still has this machine gun. We don't have cover from it. So we need to kill that one. Uh, take arms out for melee. Well, he can still get in... Uh, unless his legs are disabled, he can still get in spit range. So I'd like to just completely kill him if we can, obviously, I suppose. I'm a little worried about leaving our sniper out there because there's going to be more enemies coming in. Uh, Khan, thank you for the follow, Khan. Appreciate it. Welcome in. We could go with a pistol shot because we need, like, so little damage. But it's nowhere near... height of chance to hit. All right, let's use quick aim again. Um, we could actually take a free pistol shot. Barrel won't get it hit. Yeah, that's true. We could take three pistol shots. Only one has to hit for it to die, but it's not guaranteed. Uh, but if I take the sniper, they're they're stuck by this barrel. And if an enemy survives the grenade, we're going to have a really bad time. So, uh... Hmm. Let's take one and see what happens. Go from there. Percentage is kind of low here. Oh, to say it was egg, or leg, not egg. They don't have eggs. Ah, oh, he's four off from bleeding. Still has a machine gun. Ugh. That was a good shot, too. You know what? I'm going to use quick aim again for another free pistol shot. I might end up using, like, all of our willpower, and then a siren comes out and screws us, but that's all right. Some people would, would like that sort of thing. Come on, hit, hit. Yeah. Free pistol overwatch. Yeah. Okay, so our sniper still has an action. Uh, again, if we group up in that grenades, that's going to be really rough. So, rakes, we can still move a little bit. This one's dead. So, rakes, we could get into cover that's not on that. I guess that's our best bet for rakes. Hang on, Let, let's see what McPie can do. I really wish it would show me the uh, retail range on that. Uh, I could dash over here and destroy his gun arm and then destroy his launcher. How much health is on the gun? Uh, the gun arm. Yeah, we should be able to do that. Uh, and then we have dashes remaining. Alright, let's do it. Since hit ratio? Yeah, sure. When you get to retaliate, now if we destroy the gun on the first shot. Glad he wiped out those enemies now, yeah. So, uh, how the aim works in this, the percentage of Scorpios, is each of those circles that you see. So let me put these back up. So, the inner circle, 50% of your bullets will hit the inner circle, 50% will hit the out, inside the outer circle. So... You can kind of judge the percentage on uh, your chance to hit. Now, if the body part fills those two circles, you're guaranteed to hit that. Like, this is 100%, right? Because it's just completely full. Whereas, like, here, 
Uh, it's like a 50% to hit a leg, 50% to hit an arm. So you have to kind of figure those things out. All right, so we're gonna go for the uh, machine gun. Should I go for the machine gun or the or the arm? Hang on. I just need to disable the arm. That's actually easier to disable. Okay. So machine gun, arm. There we go. That should be good. So his arm, yeah much easier to do there we go and now we can uh try to put in as much damage or we can destroy his launcher arm so i'm gonna go after launcher arm there we go so now that thing all it can do is spit it can't melee uh all it's gonna be able to do is spit the spit move is strong but it's only like a six range or something like that so we'll dash back out uh, somewhere in a moment. Don't think you can see what that is, sadly. You can see their perception, but I th I think someone mentioned uh, that Overwatch is half perception. So I'm guessing their retaliation fire is probably also half perception, so 10 tiles, I would guess. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, okay, so Tina George is... That one's going to bleed out. So Tina George is kind of fine where they are. We might run them to some a little bit better cover. But I'm worried we'll discover a new enemy doing that. So we might just stay put. They have half cover two directions. Uh, so Leem still has a move plus pistol shot. They even have quick aim still. I might just get them to cover. Is there any, like... Away from this friggin' barrel. There's no cover they can get to, really. That's not grouped up. And if that, I mean, at least that thing can't hit with machine guns. So, maybe we go to here. What do we spot it? What do we spot? Yeah, that's worrisome. So, there's another machine gun guy. Have stuff she is. Or, you know, Overwatch can be anything, you think? play stealth so they wouldn't know wouldn't have had a reason to evolve for that uh all right so what do we have rakes get on this side of the tree i suppose Advancing. uh tina george yeah this is gonna be really rough i don't know what we can do about that guy it's too bad I didn't see him initially, or else we could have hit the, with a the grenade there. Teen George is our last action also, aside from this uh, this dash you're absolutely going to take. Kind of worried dashing back here. We don't know what's back here. I don't want to be too close to that for the spit. But I can't be too grouped up because of the grenade. Uh, I guess we could dash up here. Hopefully there's not no freaking mine hugger really close by. We dash up to two more times as well. Really well so far. Granted, this is just early game. It's pretty effective to jet jump to high ground. Start sniping the next turn. Multiclass him with sniper so he can jet jump plus quick aim. Well, sniper shot all in one rounds. Jet jump plus pistol then snipe. All right. Let's go up. Didn't see a mine fragger yet. No face hugs, please. Three willpower. Okay. So Tina George still has a dash as well. We They can dash twice. We might have to do that just to get in a better position. I think we'll at least take this full cover with her. Oh, now it's alerted. It actually wasn't alerted already. Evolution from a player has already done multiple playthroughs. Brought out a lot of doubts with all of your attack. Seems there's evidence that a lot of it's just random. Too hard to tell for sure. It was an interesting read. Uh, all right. Good luck to us, I guess. This might be a really, uh, really rough round. We could get grenade 
shot and spit on in the same round. And that's just with what's visible. We took out two of those, though, which is good. All right, what's he going to do? What? He knew that we were there, and he still didn't take an action? That's really shocking. Is he in spit range? Oh, crap, man. So close to not being in spit range. So we're going to have to uh, heal them. Whoa. Uh, overall, that was probably a win for us, you know? And Marky's right here to heal, so not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay. Let's uh, lead with Boom Blast. We have to survive two more rounds, so let's see if we can take this guy out this round. Uh, boom Blast is going to allow us to shoot two grenade rounds. Grenaded, shot, and spat on. Sounds like a night out. <laughs> Uh, other bonus, yeah, yeah, that's true. No new enemies coming up. A little dangerous. If that grenade hits closer, they're gonna get hurt. I should have shot it further. Good thing that car doesn't hurt them. <laughs> like, huh. it's it's good. All right, Team George, do you have a shot on his gun arm? No. You don't. I wish you did, but you don't. Screw it. IMAX again. Boom. Okay, 50 bleed. And all that's left is their spitter head. Uh, wait, what's their health? 70, we only need to do 20 damage. Okay, so Tina George, doesn't really matter where you hit. Probably gonna kill it anyway. Yeah. Alright. Good. Uh, now we need to finish this off and heal them. So we just need to do 40 damage. It can't retaliate because it doesn't have that gun. Um, we're gonna heal on Marky. So if we get our kill on... Let's see, Tina George is level 2. So yeah, kill on Tina George if we can. Okay, so heal and then kill with Tina George. Crash notes, I think Sesh still winning. Uh, we lost some more newbies on an ambush, but aside from that, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Okay, so you wanna heal out the sniper. Any exciting stuff? Stuff? Exciting stuff, stuff. Okay, so Tina George. Uh, are we going to have to double dash to make sure we get that kill? Maybe not. I kind of want to get the kill on her because she's a newbie. So, can give them a bigger... Uh, Bigger piece of the pie. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's just guarantee it. Lots of cool stuff. Some nerfs, some buffs. Was it? Uh, is there any opinions on what looks like it's going to be the the next meta? Doesn't matter where we hit. Slowing down the game a bit. Which I'll be mad about. I. Would not be mad about that, but you already know my opinion there. Alright, so we got Marky with a little bit of an action left. Rakes with an action left. Um, McPie. So I think we just set up some overwatches and hang out in this building until we see where the extraction point is. So Salim, our sniper. Let's go ahead and get them into the second floor. Into cover. When's a new patch for this game? I have no idea. Cash, yeah. I do cash. I'll come in. Same boat. Big fan. Yeah, I'm all for them slowing uh, Path of Exile down a bit. Okay. I actually don't see anything yet, so I'm gonna just chill on Marky here. 
Um, ranks, we can go ahead and throw down his other turret. We have one on each side of this tree. And start running him to this full cover. As long as nothing comes from that side. We already killed like three enemies that way. So Rakes is done for this round. Salim can pistol overwatch. Right? Yep, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm actually stuck where he is. McPie, we'll go ahead and set up overwatches here. Make the overwatch a little bit wider. Okay, Salim. Like I said, pistol overwatch, I suppose. Let's have something. Uh, in case there's like a mind fragger that comes through this room. Just in case. I don't think there's a mind fragger around that corner, but there very well could be. All right, see how it goes. For what? Patch notes for uh, Path of Exile. How are you enjoying this game? Seems to be a super popular game. Keep seeing it pop up in the top 10 games. I like it a whole lot. Yeah, I like it a whole lot. Whoa, no enemies came towards us? Enjoying it a lot, Kaz. All right. We might as well just overwatch and not care about anything else. Um, and we'll see kind of where our... Extraction is it's pretty surprising. But yeah, we might as well do that. So uh let's see, Marky, Overwatch in this direction. Pretty wide, but wide and uh but not very far. Long. Yeah, there we go. That's good. That's good for our heavy. Tina George. Let's make sure Marky's not in that. Okay. Salim, I don't think there's a Mindfragger there, else it would have cut, you know, already came, but still set that up. Rakes will jump in the house on them. Path of Exile, yeah. I'm on Overwatch. All right. Okay, there's another fully offensive enemy. Two Tritons. Hopefully Extraction's not in that direction. Another full offense enemy. Grenade, Spitter, and Machine Gun. Alright, where's Evac? Uh, Evac's not super close. It's not furthest away it could be. But it's not in a great location. Okay. Let's go ahead and start that way on rakes. Get enough tech, the resource. You buy some good ways to get it. I'm not sure. I've had no problem with getting all the resources, but again, I've I've had bad luck and only have one base this game. So I can't spin them quite as fast. Um, so I'm not 100 percent sure, Seraph, honestly. Evac, you need evac. Yeah. We can't even call it in where we want it. Can't even call it in. All right. Where's Ivax? So we could jet jump on Ivax and get a idea of where things are, but it's dangerous, man. It's dangerous. I'm gonna do it though. Your base is to food production. Trade for what you need. <clears throat> Didn't spot any enemies on the way. So, Marky, we're going to get as far over with you as we can. Uh, I hate being near that barrel. I mean, that's cover near that barrel. I don't think you're, they're going to get shot out this round anyway. But I might just run to here. I don't, I don't think anything can get in range of shooting unless there's an enemy already back there. I guess we'll find out. They are heavy, but they're not wearing heavy armor. So... Tina George does not have her dash up, so she is going to have to run to crappy cover. It's also a newbie, so it doesn't have a lot of speed yet. So, Leem, let's wait on you since you're our sniper. Okay, don't see anything on Ibex. Uh, Rakes, about as far as they can get. McPie. We can make a lot of distance with McPie here. 
had to defend a base attack yet. Uh, Haven or Phoenix Point base? I've not done a Phoenix Point defense uh, on release. But I've defended a lot of Havens. We can actually get McPie out right now with dashes. I'm not going to do that. But no, I've, I'm not defending a Phoenix Point base uh, yet on release. All right, Let's see what happens. Oh, good, good turret hit. Not a bad round at all. All right, Zybax actually have a hit on that as we retreat. Not quite. Not quite. All right. Uh, so who is our furthest out right now? It is Tina George. Does not have a dash. If we kill that guy, she might grab a dash. But I don't think I'm going to worry about that. Um, downside is we can't really get her to great cover. We have enemies moving towards us. Maybe if we move Ibax, she can get here, and that's a little bit better cover. All right. Ibax, let's go peek out. See what, see what your elf eyes see. She's one of our slowest people for reconnaissance. Hey, it's working. It's working. All right, so Tina George can get to here. Again, not super great cover, but then hopefully next round she can get out, or she might even have a willpower boost by then, depending on what happens this round. So Salim, if we move somewhere where we can take a snipe, we could take that guy out as we leave. Um, here's cover and a snipe. It's not a very good snipe, though. But it still is a snipe. We, we can go there and check how good of a shot. And then if it's not great, we just move the rest of the way. I guess we can do that. Alright. We use quick aim for 25% bonus to that aim. Make a small circle. It's not a terrible shot. We could aim for the arm, and if we miss, we might take out the machine gun. Or we could go for the launcher arm, which is a decent shot as well. Uh, which one's scarier to us right now? Probably launcher. Yeah, let's take it. Got it. Launcher arm destroyed. It's bleeding for 10. Uh, our turrets might end up killing him as he comes across. Okay, Marky. We're not going to shoot on you. We're just going to get you to evac oh you could actually evac this round huh yeah we'll do that it's a lot different than our last ambush huh a lot different okay so marky it doesn't take any action points to evac so we'll go ahead and head out with him might should have waited though since he has the heal huh okay salim can't really move much further ivax can get out too not sure i'm gonna do that yet uh rakes can't get out yet Maybe next round. And McPie. I can even just take a random shot with McPie. It's, yeah, right. Yeah, right. We're going to hit that barrel is what we're going to do. Nah, I'm not going to worry about that. We'll just retreat as much as we can. How's our pistol shot, actually? Not great. It's free though. Stay with his arm. <laughs> got it. Nothing worse than double grenade. Oh, I know. Can't believe we got his arm. We're like, we're just fine now. He's He shouldn't be able to get close enough to spit on us, you know. I might just take another shot. Can't believe we hit that. That was awesome. Alright. Let's take another bad shot. Might as well. Hey, Sarge. Welcome in, Sarge Red. All right, so our sniper is done for this round. Um, heavy's done. Ranks, I'm kind of okay with you coming all the way over here. Should be fine. That guy can't throw grenades, can't shoot his, uh, his rifle. We're in really good shape. Let's go ahead and get out with McPie. 
actually, you know what? I'll put my pie here because if there's any enemies that come in, we can get a kill on them before we head out. On like a newbie, you know, weaken it when we pie and then the kill on the newbie. That'd be good. Can't farm experience. We can determine uh, kind of who gets more. Oh, okay. They were shooting at the turret. For a second there, I was worried. He's just going to hide in there and bleed to death. There's another machine. Uh, okay. It always worries me when I see them about to launch the friggin' grenade. Nice turret. Nice. Nice. Okay. Does Ivax actually have a shot and then he could head out? No. All right. Who's our furthest away? Rakes. Rakes can't get out this round. Almost. So close. One round away. So, just go to uh, as far away as you can. Okay. Who else is our next furthest? Salim. Salim also can't get out. Very close to being able to, but not quite this round. jump jet i mean there's no he's max level so i don't i don't want him to get the kill anyway but no we just need to get out s8 how do you do s8 guy running around with no arms yeah <laughs> uh we cannot dash on her so still can't quite get there you're talking about jump jetting on rakes the, th the problem is rakes isn't proficient um my bad. I thought you were talking about someone else. Rake's character is a um, a technician, and he's not yet proficient with um, with heavy equipment, so he could actually fumble. And if he fumbled, that'd be really bad. Fumbling uh, has a chance to do several different things. One of which is that they just lose their uh, they lose willpower and their action points that it would cost, and they just stay where they are. So I didn't I didn't want to risk that at all. He was proficient. We could do that, but not gonna take the risk since he's not. Uh, you know what? We'll just evac McPie. It's fine. We still have turrets up, so they're not gonna just run by the turrets anyway. That's the one. Yeah, it's running around bleeding to death with no arms. He's just. He doesn't know what to do. He's dying. Fumble and the other team gets the ball? Yeah. No, actually. I mean, kinda. If the ball is rakes his body. <laughs> is the ball rakes his body? If so, then yes. Hey, we did it! An extreme risk uh, ambush with six people. Done. Uh, Stalwart Raider. How do you find technicians been using infiltrators? Um, the turrets are really can be really strong, both for tanking shots and they can deal a lot of damage as long as they're in sight range. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna keep testing it further. Our technician isn't very you know high level. They're level two, so I can't say 100. percent If you can get the turrets to where they actually get to take good shots they're very strong the problem is getting them there and being able to do so team george leveled up marky's a little injured but crafting with the new in-game currency also really hit multi-mod crafting more looks like with all the big nerfs hype game should be a solid bit harder what is it uh when does it start announced uh this says needs text missing key new jericho gauze auto turret hey hey super blue welcome in thank you super blue uh yeah i'm still not 100 percent but i'm getting there i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and a comment below also subscribe to the channel by clicking this button it helps out a ton and after all of that be sure to check out the next video right up here of course as always
Thank you guys for watching.